Welcome, my name is Amanda Zika and I'm the first year experience coordinator at Rock Valley College. Today we're going to talk about getting ready for the first day of college. So our goal for today is to make sure you feel prepared for the first day of fall classes at RVC. So I hope you are all ready for a great semester. Our fall classes at Rock Valley begin the week of August 14th for weekend classes and 16th for weekday classes. Those tip classes typically end um, in the beginning of December. You can check your schedule in online services. I would also recommend checking your RVC student email. You can want to make sure that you also check the start dates for your classes. We occasionally have short-term classes or late start classes that may start in October or September. If you have any face-to-face -face classes and you don't know where your buildings are, you have a few different options. We do have a virtual tour on our website and the Welcome Desk is also taking reservations to schedule campus tours. If you look at your schedule, you may see some terms you're not familiar with. Our online classes can either be synchronous, asynchronous, or hybrid classes. Synchronous classes are going to have you log in at a specific meeting time, usually via Zoom, which we'll talk about in a moment. Asynchronous classes are going to be online classes that do not have specific meeting times on a weekly basis, but will have due dates and schedules of assignments that you complete at your own pace throughout the week. Hybrid classes are going to be partially online or partially in person. You might especially see these with a class that has a lab component or a speech class. So check your campus email also because your instructors may be emailing you specific instructions for your specific, specific section. Here's an example of a schedule that has both an asynchronous and synchronous class on it. So you can see in the meeting dates, the first one says online asynchronous. Those students will not be expected to log into Zoom at a specific time every week. There may be occasional synchronous meetings, but that would be up to your instructor. Whereas the second class, the synchronous class below, meets every Tuesday and Thursday from noon to one. Your instructor would tell you how you would log into Zoom. And here are some examples of hybrid classes. Hybrid classes may be either hybrid synchronous or hybrid asynchronous. As I mentioned, classes with a lab component, this is a chemistry class. Students will be coming in to complete the lab and doing the rest of the work online. And we are adding more face-to-face -face classes to our schedule. So here's an, an example of a fall class that is a traditional face-to-face -face class. It lists the room number, days, and times. As you're preparing for your classes, RVC uses a learning management system called Eagle. Uh, every college and university has an LMS of some sort. Eagle is ours, uh, named after RV, the Golden Eagle, our mascot. A learning management system is a website where you can upload assignments, take exams and quizzes, message your instructor. You'll wanna make sure that you're logging in regularly to check your work. And in a moment, I will tell you about an app you can also access. Uh, we do have an Eagle support office on campus if you have any questions or issues. I mentioned Zoom earlier. Um, Zoom is an online conferencing tool that you may use in some of your classes. This is used for virtual meetings, either one-on-one -on -one meetings or group meetings. It is free. You can access it from a computer, tablet, or a smartphone. And we recommend using your microphone and camera in class so that you can actively engage with your instructor and classmates. Make sure you use proper Zoom etiquette. And if you have any issues with Zoom, you can reach out to your instructor. We also want students to be aware that there are other resources um, used in certain classes. For example, a lot of our math classes use My Math Lab. Um, you may have to use a website through a textbooks um, publishing company. We just want you to realize there may be more technology than just Eagle and Zoom and make sure that you are open and flexible with those technologies. As you're preparing to come back to school or to start school for your first semester, like I said earlier, make sure you're checking your schedule. Make sure that you start a regular routine. Even if you're completely online, set your alarm, wake up at the same time every day, take care of yourself. 
If you are coming to campus at this point in time, we are still requiring masks. Um, you can check our website for any COVID-19 updates as things change and make sure that you are giving yourself enough time. Parking is free on our campus and that you check and see if offices do require appointments at this point in time. Again, things do change um, with COVID-19 regulations, so you can check our website for those. Make sure to stay connected as well. As I said earlier, some of you may be entirely online. Um, check your campus email regularly, log into your online classes, sign up for the RVC text alert system, and make sure you're communicating with not only your instructors, but your classmates. And I also recommend following RVC on social media to find out what's going on on campus. As you are starting your classes, you can look in your Eagle shell for uh, the syllabus. A syllabus is a contract between you and the instructor. So make sure you save it and read it over to understand attendance policies, grading, um, course uh, policies, and anything else that your instructor wants you to be aware of. If you read it and have questions or concerns, make sure to reach out to your instructor. I also recommend having a quiet study space at home where you'll be able to work, keep it organized, clean it out frequently, um, make sure you communicate with your family members or your roommates that this is your space to work and you're going to have specific times that you'll be working there. Turn off your phone, try not to look at social media, and focus on your schoolwork. If you don't have a specific place at home where you are able to study or if you need to get out of the house, the RVC library is in the Educational Resource Center and it is open and has computers, printers, and quiet study areas as well as rooms that you can attend Zoom meetings in. So make sure to reach out to them if you have any questions. As you're getting ready for your first day and you're wondering what you need to have ready, whether you're home or coming to campus, I would make sure that you at least have a notebook and something to write with for taking notes or a laptop that you'll be able to type your notes on, some way of managing your time, a planner, calendar, any other supplies that you may find useful. If you'd like to get your RVC student ID, you can contact the welcome desk. And if there's anything else that you're not sure of, reach out to your instructor for your class. Our textbooks are available in the RVC bookstore. To see what textbooks you'll need, you can log into online services. Uh, you can also check out other resources such as Amazon or Chegg.com, but just be aware if you're using financial aid, you will need to use that in the RVC bookstore. Our bookstore does have rental programs and price matching, and at times we'll send out coupons to student email as well. I would recommend keeping every, anything that's wrapped up in the packaging until the first day. And if you have any questions about access codes or anything else that you reach out to your instructor. A lot of students wonder whether they need their own computer. Um, we don't require you to have your own computer to take classes at RVC. It can be helpful. Um, if you have any specific programs you're in, such as graphic arts, you can reach out to those instructors if there are specific programs you need. Um, we also have computer labs on campus in the WTC, and as I mentioned earlier, the library has computers you can use, and we do um, have those open for students. Students also have available to them uh, Microsoft 365, so if you don't have Word, uh, Excel, PowerPoint, you can download that from our website for free. If you don't have Wi-Fi at home, we do have free Wi-Fi on our campus. Um, you can also visit Xfinity.com and find a hotspot near you. And there are um, areas in our community, such as the Rockford Public Library, where you could go and use either the computers or the Wi-Fi. Sometimes our online students wonder whether they need a printer. You might find that you're able to just save a document to your desktop or create a digital folder to save your items. If you really would like to print something out, as I mentioned earlier, we do have printing on campus, or you could visit um, a FedEx or similar business where you may have to pay to print. I did mention earlier our apps. We have two apps that you might download. Illusion Go um, has a lot of the things that you can do in online services. Check your schedule, check your final grades, etc. The Canvas app is where you will be able to log into Eagle to check your classes. 
I don't recommend doing larger assignments or taking exams on the Canvas app, but it can be a great way to check your grades or check due dates or assignments that are due soon. If you don't have a calculator or a laptop, we do have rental programs on campus that are first come, first serve. So make sure to reach out and I'll put up my information at the end if you'd like more information about those rental programs. I mentioned time management. Time management is very important. Um, if you're coming out of high school, you're gonna find that college is a different ball game. So you wanna make sure that you are giving yourself enough time to study every week, that you're making your to-do list, you're using your planner and your calendar, and that you have a good handle on things. Visit those goals. What are your long-term goals? What are your short-term goals? Why are you even at RVC? Think of ways that are going to help keep you motivated. You also wanna make sure that you learn how to properly study. A lot of times in high school, we don't learn how to actively study. You don't wanna just read your textbooks or come to class. You'll need to do a little more, whether it's making flashcards, using sites such as Quizlet, um, review your notes and assignments frequently, and our recommendation is for every one credit hour that you're enrolled in, that you study at least two hours per week, and that you actually block that off in your calendar. It's also really important to take care of yourself. Um, college students face a lot of stresses, so self-care is very important, especially with everything going on today. Eat well, a well-balanced diet, get enough sleep, exercise. Um, as campus continues to reopen, check out the fitness lab. There is a small fee for students, but we also have some great walking paths on campus. Try out for an athletic team or play an intramural sport. And you also want to make sure that you're taking care of your mental well-being. We have a personal success counselor on campus. And use your campus resources. Um, we have a variety of resources on campus, academic advising, disability support services. Um, if you come to our campus, um, New Student Welcome, we had a uh, resource fair that hopefully you were able to check out. Um, just don't wait until it's too late to use these resources. If you can't come to campus or don't feel comfortable doing that, reach out to the resources to find out how you can make an appointment. And make sure to get involved. Even if you're home and in online classes, um, start a Zoom study group or uh, attend a virtual event, whether it's an online workshop um, or any of the other virtual programs you see. And we're hoping that you'll see more and more face-to-face -face programming coming back to campus. Remember, this is your time. This is your education. You want to be your own advocate, ask for help when you need it, and make the most of your time here. Make friends, have fun, be exposed to new ideas, and take things as they come. If the last year and a half has taught us anything, it is important to be flexible. These are some of our campus resources, so hopefully you'll be able to visit them, take advantage of them. They are included in your student fees, so they're essentially free to you once you start school. And if you have any questions, make sure to reach out to me. You can always call or email me and I'd be glad to help you out. And I hope you found this helpful. Thank you and have a great day.